In this example, I need to write the following quadratic function in standard form. Then I need to identify the vertex. The function is f of x equals 3x squared minus 3x minus 2. Now quickly reviewing, the standard form, or in some books they call this the vertex form of a quadratic function, is given by y equals a times the quantity x minus h all squared plus k. This function has a vertex at the ordered pair hk. So I need to put my function into this format. And to do that, we're going to have to complete the square on this expression. Now to complete the square, we need the leading coefficient of the x squared term to be 1. It isn't in this case. There are several different ways to proceed. I prefer the method where I just factor this coefficient 3 out of the following two terms. So factoring a 3 out of a 3x squared, it leaves x squared. Factoring a 3 out of a negative 3x is going to leave negative 1x or just negative x. And now I'm going to put plus a blank because I need to add something in here that turns this expression into a perfect squared trinomial. But now don't forget, I have to bring down the minus 2. And if I've added something here, I'm also going to have to add its opposite here. So the net change on this expression is 0. So what number do I add here? To find that out, you take the coefficient of the x term, which is negative 1, divide it by 2. Simplify it if you can. This one doesn't simplify. Then you take that negative a half and you square it. Negative a half all squared is positive one fourth. Now, which of these two numbers do you add in here? It's the square term, the positive one fourth. And now it might be tempting to subtract one fourth here so our net change is zero. But what have I really added to this part of the equation? I added 3 times 1 fourth, which is 3 quarters. So since I added 3 quarters to this part of the equation, I'm going to have to subtract 3 quarters here. So the negative 3 quarters and the positive 3 quarters add to 0. I've not changed the value of this expression. I have just changed the way it looks. Now simplifying this expression, I'm going to get 3 times x with some number all squared. This was a perfect squared trinomial. I could factor it. That's going to be harder with fractions. But the number that goes in here is always the coefficient of the x term after dividing it by 2, this number. So it's just going to be x minus a half all squared. If you're not sure if you got this right, multiply this out and you will get this expression here. Now I just need to add fractions here. My common denominator is going to be a 4, so I'm going to multiply the 2 by 4 over 4. And then I'm going to get minus 3 quarters. So I get 3 times the quantity x minus a half all squared minus 2 times 4 is 8 fourths minus 3 fourths. So my quadratic function f of x is 3 times the quantity x minus a half all squared negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11 fourths. So that is my quadratic function written in standard form. The only thing I have to do now is find the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex is at the opposite of this value, so it's going to be at positive one-half. The y-value of the vertex k is this number here, so it's just minus 11 fourths. 
So there is the vertex for this quadratic function.